Interesting facts about famous people. Ten Western remakes. The Western has long been an icon of culture in America. The West, as a subject, started with novels and stories that exaggerated frontier life. For example, very little evidence that showdowns or duels took place in town streets. Westerns became one of the popular film genres of the 1950s, the classic era. Westerns still remain popular, even today. Sustained by new original films, and as we will see today, remakes of classic movies of the past. Some recoil at the mention of a remake, but these updated Western remakes are worth checking out, even if it's just to remind us how great the originals are. If you like this video, please like, share or subscribe. You can check out my many other videos on my channel. The link is in the description. Now let's find out more about Western remakes. Wild Wild West, 1999. You could put Wild Wild West in the it's so bad it's great box. Let's be honest, it's not a great movie, at least by most standards. It does however have a strong cult following, earning a reputation as a good bad movie. Based on a TV series called The Wild Wild West that aired for four seasons between 1965 and 69, starring Robert Conrad. This movie earned terrible reviews, including the worst screen couple for Will Smith and Kevin Klein, and worst picture. Okay, we got that one out of the way. The Alamo, 2004. The Alamo is a remake of the 1960 version of the same name, starring the Western legend John Wayne. Between a small militia of Texans and a much larger army of Mexicans, led by Davy Crockett and Jim Bowie, and Mexican dictator Santa Ana's forces at the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas, leaving an estimated 2,000 casualties and a victory for Mexico. The remake starred, amongst others, Billy Bob Thornton and Dennis Quaid. He got decent reviews, but it was greatly overshadowed at the box office by The Passion of the Christ. The Magnificent Seven, 2016. Seven gunmen from different backgrounds come together with a vengeful young widow to protect her town from the private army of a dangerous industrialist. The Magnificent Seven contains an all-star cast, including Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, Ethan Hawke, and Vincent D'Onofrio, among others. A remake of the 1960 movie of the same name following a group of gunmen who were hired to defend the small village of Rose Creek from a gold tycoon. He got decent reviews, however, it was more well received by general moviegoers. Run into one of those fellas you're after. Where can Rio Lobo, 1970. Cord McNally, John Wayne. Searches for two traitors because the defeat of McNally's unit and the loss of a close friend after the Civil War a collaboration between John Wayne and director Howard Hawks. Rio Lobo was Hawks' final movie before his death in 1977. The two had previously collaborated on classic westerns like El Dorado and a similarly titled Rio Bravo. Many consider Rio Lobo a remake of Rio Bravo. Sadly, it served as a disappointing swan song for the iconic Hawks Wayne duo, even though there were certainly things to like about it. Is that even a lie too much on dreams? Ned Kelly, 2003. An innocent man becomes one of the most wanted criminals the world has ever known. Heath Ledger as the Australian outlaw. Ned Kelly is both a remake of the 1970 original, starring Mick Jagger, of all people as Kelly and an adaptation of the 1991 novel, Our Sunshine. The 1970 film was not a success, a critical and commercial disappointment, disowned by both the director and Mick Jagger. The remake was a bit more successful, 
grossing over $6 million at the box office and receiving decent reviews, and two wins at the Australian Film Institute Awards. Maverick, 1994. Brett Maverick, Mel Gibson. Is, Needing money for a poker tournament faces various funny mishaps and challenges, including a charming woman thief, I'm Jodie Brett Foster. Maverick, I'm to meet you. It's based on the TV series of the same name, which aired for five seasons from 1957 to 62, starring James Garner, who also appears in the 1994 version. Positively received, earning an Academy Award nomination for Best Costume Design, it grossed over $180 million worldwide, making it a box office success. A Fistful of Dollars, 1964. A wandering gunfighter plays two rival families against each other in a town torn apart by greed, pride and revenge. Both the first entry in the iconic Dollars trilogy and the first movie for Clint Eastwood. The movie was a huge success, popularising Eastwood as an actor and launching the spaghetti western genre in America. While not an official remake, many fans and critics agree that A Fistful of Dollars bears a huge resemblance to Akira Kurosawa's Yojimbo. In fact, the company behind Yojimbo won a lawsuit against A Fistful of Dollars, delaying its release in North America and winning an undisclosed out-of-court settlement. The Magnificent Seven, 1960. Seven gunfighters are hired by a Mexican village to liberate them from oppressive bandits. The 2016 remake has nothing on the 1960 original. Just like A Fistful of Dollars, the 1960 Magnificent Seven was a remake of an Akira Kurosawa film. Unlike A Fistful of Dollars, this one had permission and was not subject to a lawsuit. The Magnificent Seven was a Wild West-style remake of Kurosawa's Seven Samurai, often regarded as one of the greatest movies ever made. Three Ten to Yuma, 2007. It doesn't get much better than Three Ten to Yuma. Russell Crowe as a psychotic outlaw and Christian Bale as the poor farmer who delivers him to the 310 to Yuma train in exchange for a huge sum of money. A remake of the 1957 film with Glenn Ford, both based on the Elmore Leonard short story 310 to Yuma, receiving positive reviews and earning Oscar nominations for Best Sound Mixing and Best Original Score. True Grit, 2010. A teenager enlists the help of a tough U.S. Marshal to track down her father's murderer. With the Coen brothers, there's really no going wrong. True Grit is also a remake of the 1969 original starring John Wayne, Glenn Campbell and Kim Darby. Not only is True Grit the greatest Western remake, but it's also one of the greatest modern Westerns. It earned great reviews and was nominated for 10 Academy Awards, including Best Actor and Actress, Jeff Bridges, Haley Steinfeld. Best Director, Best Picture. I hope you like this list of Western remakes. I'm sure you'll let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you'd like to see some of my many other videos, please check out the link in the description to go to my channel. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. Drop me right. your comments. Bye for now.